Praise the Lord, y'all. Just want to give you a quick testimony of my King Jesus, the living God. He is alive and well and watching over us and omnipotent, all powerful. He is the beginning and the end. The Lord help me with this testimony. Y'all, one night I was just praying and in the spirit, that type of stuff. You know how you get to worshiping the King. And um, out of nowhere, he told me to um, go tell a specific cashier that he said hi. And she's a beautiful cashier. Just you brighten your day. I had no problem with it. But the only thing is, she was not only the cashier, but she was also the wife of a Muslim Arab who owned the store. So I'm like, oh, man. Woo, God, you got me trying to convert people? I ain't going to be able to do it. Man, I was terrified. But I knew he told me. I knew it. Like, that's what faith is. You know what I'm saying? You have faith in the Lord. You don't just believe in the Lord. You know he there and you know he in, in control. But anyways, um, I knew flat out, just as clear as day, he told me to do it. And so um, it was pretty late. So the next morning I get up to go up there and I'm in the car. Demons got the yapping in my head. Man, you finna make a fool out of yourself. Man, that husband, her husband gonna chop your head off. Don't go up there. Don't do it. Don't do it. And I'm steady just, ah, ah. And I'm praying like demons really do be talking. But, um, and I'm praying, y'all. I didn't want to do it. But I had to do it. Like, it's like a specific, you know, instruction. This is... It was a little bit more than, you know, God, you know, you hear people say, God say don't do this. God say don't do that. God literally told me specifically to go tell a specific person that he said hi. So I just had to do it. I mean, what else am I? Who am I? I had to do it. Y'all, I get up there and I'm usually pretty outgoing. I don't get embarrassed very easily. Um, I went up there, y'all. Like a puppy with my tail tucked between my legs, y'all. Went up there. I actually bought what I was going to buy. And I didn't say nothing. Instead, I went back. To, um... Went back away from the counter a little bit. Act like I was doing something. Then finally, I took that deep breath. <sighs> Lord be with me. And I went up to the person. I said, I'm sorry. I... I, no, I didn't. What I say? I said I feel out of place, but Jesus told me to tell you how. And the cashier, she was like, mm, "Don't feel out of place." And I ran out the store. I ran out, y'all. I was like, "Oh, I didn't know, you know." Like, whoa, what the, I just do. La, la, la. And I felt bad that you know that I went in there like that. I was like, I was really like a puppy dog with my tail tucked between my legs. I was like, I feel out of place, but. Jesus told me to tell you how I was like real, very sheepish. And I, I wanted to be bold in Christ, but I just couldn't do it. Y'all and I, I was thinking I had failed and I went apologizing to the Lord and just all types of stuff. And I felt terrible, you know, but even though I did what I was supposed to do, I felt bad that I didn't do it, you know, in an exuberant way. Like I was just supposed to be bold in Christ. So anyways, I go back up there like a week later, you know, just it's a store. And um, out of nowhere, she said, where you been? And I was like, I hadn't thought nothing about it. I was like, just laying low, chilling. She's like, no, you come in here one day, you give me hope, and then you disappear. I said, what you mean? She says, I'm a Christian. I believe in Jesus. I had just looked up at the sky and asked him to let me know that I wasn't here by myself. Y'all, when she told me that, she got to tell me some whole other stuff. But I closed my eyes and I started praying right in her face. Thank you, my King Jesus. And to this day, we and her and I talk. And she'll say, there's just no way you could have known anything was wrong. You just, just no way. And I tell her, I still don't know what was wrong. I was just doing what I was told. And that's all we can do as Christians. Do what you're told. But that really, not only, I, like, I've had, since then, I've had instances like that where he uses me to strengthen people's faith. But this is one of the first ones, and it really strengthened my faith. That's the only way I, I'm, I'm giving this testimony. If he really strengthened my faith that day. 
Jesus Christ is real. He's the only way to heaven. Stay filled with love and forgiveness, y'all. This world wants everybody to hate everybody, and that's by design, y'all. Love everybody. Stay filled with love. If there's hate in your heart, that's, that keeps Jesus from being there. You know, Jesus is love. God is love. For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son. When I was out there, and I don't know where I was, in the black hole, I don't the next dimension where there's no time. When I was out there, y'all, and that light touched me, I felt all the love in the world. That's what Jesus is. He's love. But that's our connection. Love. Stay filled with love, y'all. And I know it's hard. Every day is hard. But call on him, y'all. He's there. Call on him. But um, that's my testimony. Jesus is real. He is speaking with us. If you love anybody, let them know about Jesus Christ. And feel free to let your testimonies go, y'all. I um wasn't letting mine go. I felt like a demon was on me. But um, finally, he confirmed that it just wasn't my time to testify. But testify, y'all. Talk to God every day. Fill yourself with him every day through the word. Jesus is real. I love y'all. Praise the Lord.